everyone. This video will cover an example of just one piece of a linear programming problem. And we're just going to um, go over the step where you set up the constraints of the problem. So I've chosen ex an example which is a little bit more difficult. And uh, you'll notice in this one that the constraints um, don't have to do with the two variables that we're trying to find. All right, so why don't you take a minute and uh, maybe pause this video and read through this problem just to kind of get an idea of what's going on um, and also see if you can identify the variables. So what does x represent and what does y represent? There are two things, there are lots of unknowns, but there are only two things that we're actually being asked to find. Alright, so pause for a minute, see if you can get that. Okay, um, so if you've read through this problem, then hopefully you can see at the very end here, this is the question. This is what you're being asked to find. Uh, this company, Weenies and Buns, would like to know how many hot dogs and hot dog buns they should produce to maximize profit. All right, so let's let the X be the hot dogs and Y be the hot dog buns. All right, so that's the, the first step, figuring out what we're trying to find. Now when you go back through and look for constraints or inequalities, uh, we are looking for some keywords that would seem to indicate either greater than or equal to or less than or equal to signs. Um, so look for things like at least, at most, maximum, minimum, anything like that. All right, so let's read this through. And just we're just looking now for um, any kind of a, a restriction on something in the problem. All right, so um, notice, first of all, we have the word maximum here. Flowers ground at a maximum rate of 200 pounds per week. All right, so we've got flour has to stay less than or equal to 200. All right, um, we've got, let's see, pork, right, 800 pounds of pork delivered every Monday. All right, so there might be some sort of a restriction there. All right. Um, we have other supplies or, or other ingredients in plentiful supply, so that's a clue that um, there are no other restrictions on, you know, say water or um, salt or other things, ingredients in those recipes. And then we have a labor restriction here. We only have a certain limited number of employees working a limited number of hours per week. All right. So one thing you should notice, um, nowhere in this problem did it say something like the number of hot dogs produced has to be at least a certain number, right? Or it, it doesn't say that the number of buns has to say below 200 or something like that, right? So in other words, the restrictions are not on the variables themselves, not on X and Y. So that's your clue that you need to set up a chart, um, or, or you can do this in your head, but a chart may be helpful to figure out what these um, constraints are in terms of the variables, All right? So I'll make a chart here. X was hot dogs and Y was buns. All right. And then across the top, I'll just start listing out the things that we do have restrictions on. So definitely flour, only so much can be ground per week. All right, we have uh, pork, the pork product that's delivered. There's not an unlimited amount being delivered. All right, um, and then finally we have a labor restriction. We can't just have as many employees as we want working overtime or anything like that. All right, so then at the bottom of each column, let me just put what these restrictions are. Flour, we can only grind uh, a maximum of 200 pounds per week. All right, and now notice um, you are being asked how many hot dogs and hot dog buns should be produced each week. So this whole chart, we're gonna think of this all of these numbers and variables as just being for one week. All right, so flour is less than or equal to 200 pounds. Um, pork, only 800 pounds are delivered each week, so we can only use up to 800 pounds. All right, and then finally labor, five employees working 40 hours each, that's 200 hours. And that's all the labor that we have. All right, so the rest of the chart, this is to help us figure out 
um, the connection between the variables and these other different unknown things, right? So in other words, you know, how much pork is needed for a hot dog bun, how much labor is needed for a hot dog, things like that. All right, so then you go back through your problem and figure that out. Um, hot dogs, uh, it doesn't say anything about flour, so we're just going to assume that makes sense. There's no flour in a hot dog. And likewise, there would be no pork in a hot dog bun. Um, we do see that hot dog buns require 0.1 pounds of flour. Okay. And let's see, uh, hot dogs require a quarter pound of pork product. All right. And then labor, hot dogs require three minutes of labor. And hot dog buns require two minutes of labor. All right, and that's everything in the chart. All right, so then we just need to actually write the inequalities. All right, so we'll look vertically in each of these columns. And um, since we're going to be producing, we're assuming, you know, more than one hot dog, more than one hot dog bun, then all of these different amounts would be multiplied by however many hot dogs or buns you're producing. So in other words, each hot dog bun needs 0.1 pounds of flour, but we need to multiply that by however many buns are being produced. Okay, same thing for the pork and labor needed for the buns, and same thing for the hot dogs. Okay, a quarter pound per dog times however many dogs are being produced and three minutes per hot dog. All right, so writing the constraints, we'd have, um, and I'll skip the zero x since that just cancels out anyway when I write these inequalities. All right, so for the flour, that constraint, 0.1 y is less than or equal to 200. Oops, it's gonna run off the screen a little bit. Let me move that over. All right, 0.1 y is less than or equal to 200. Okay, uh, then the constraint, the restriction on the pork, a quarter pound times however many hot dogs are produced, less than or equal to 800. And then labor, 3x plus 2y is less than or equal to 200. All right, so we're just adding all of these or, or mostly in this last column adding, um, because the, the total labor for hot dogs and buns has to stay below 200. Okay, and then don't forget, there are two other constraints that we need to consider. Um, the fact that the hot dogs and the hot dog buns, um, we can't produce negative amounts of those things. All right, so you can't have negative three hot dogs. And since all of our inequalities have been uh, maximums, we're staying below, we didn't actually write anything yet that said that the hot dogs and buns have to be positive numbers. So I'll go ahead and include that. Both X and Y can only be positive numbers. Right? So those are all of the constraints in this problem. Um, and that's it.